number one Iron Age booty daddy. Welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. To everybody out there, thank you so much for checking out my last reaction videos to the AI presidents play D&D. Now, I'm actually doing the reactions to these videos because I need to be less serious on the channel. There's a lot of stuff going on in the day-to-day -day and all the news, and I decided, you know what? Maybe it's time to just take things a little less serious once in a while. And so, hopefully, you guys have a good time with this. We're going to react to the third, to episode three, which is Trump, Biden, and Obama play Dungeons & Dragons featuring... Crippled Ben Shapiro. Yes, sadly. For, yeah, no, sadly. Let's go. <laughs> that was going to be a bad joke. But uh, yeah, Ben Shapiro in episode one got crippled. But now he's back. Now he's back being the dungeon master. So we're going to sit here. We're going to laugh along with this video. And I do hope that you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys enjoy these reaction videos, like this video. Uh, the last one didn't get quite 200 likes. Got close, though. It's at 198. But... For everybody out there who's checking out this channel, before we get into this, I'm doing this video so that way I can kind of fill out the roster of videos for the week. And then I'm actually working and putting some time into a video essay style video of a show that I'm having an absolute blast with and trying to get into a little bit of the philosophy of the show because I love doing stuff like that. So if you guys are down for content like that, that's what I really want to do with this channel. That's what I started this channel to do. But you guys let me know down in the comments below and let me know what you guys think of this. And let's get over to the president's playing D&D with crippled Ben Shapiro. Good Lord, this is going to be insane. All right. Sorry, guys. My friend was busy playing with nuclear warheads, so he couldn't make it today. It's all right, Joey. I made some last minute phone calls and our dungeon master should be here any minute. Who is it? My goodness. Could it be? It is. Hello, guys. It's good to see you again. <laughs> Holy mother. I appreciate you accepting my invitation, Ben. Glad you're back, Benji. These... <laughs> oh, they made him look like Stephen Hawking. That was great. <laughs> you guys said you have small dick energy and a rat bastard coward and called your wheelchair a skill issue. But I said, come on, be nice. Ben is a good lad and Israel is okay. You're unbelievable. <laughs> it's okay. I had a lot of time to... <laughs> <laughs> and Israel's a, oh my god, the fact that this is still allowed on YouTube surprises me and makes me so happy that, uh, because we're watching the Clone, uh, Clone Studios, Clone Gaming, oh, I, I forget the name of the channel, but Clone, K-L-O-N-E, does just such great work with this, this, this is great, and this screen grab right here, guys, this is, this is hilarious. I think about life on my hospital bed, I saw a lot, everything everywhere and nothing then i heard a voice god no allah both mean the same thing what the fuck a jewish muslim well i don't know yet <laughs> will you cut your foreskin again why am i here be careful of barack he likes to hit your kind from above you dumb fuck let's get something straight your drone strike numbers far exceed mine it's called a high score jesus christ this is extremely offensive <laughs> Two things. One, he likes to hit your kind from above. And two, your drone strike numbers outnumber mine. <laughs> Fuck you, it's called a high score. And that's the state of American politics, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is brutal and I love it. This is... This is almost Internet 1.0 humor. Oh, this is great. Okay, our writer isn't white. Our writer? Oh, huh, I get it. You're doing the AI joke again. Who? Uh... Well, guys, I don't know what I am. I'm still searching for answers. I just see a lot of beauty in the holy books. No cap. And well, all I know is I want to be a better person and have friends. You have us, buddy. Yeah, you have him. Thanks, guys. So how about we begin what we're here for? I even set up a new campaign whilst I was in the hospital. Don has also learned how to play and will finally behave. I'm no murder hobo, but I will murder any hobos. Didn't ask. So let's start with a quick reintroduction to your characters. <laughs> Come on, you all already know who I am. I go by many, many names. The Golden God, the Genetic Freak, and of course, Paladon with an O. You're shaped like an O. I attack the old man who has an affinity towards the younger demographic. We, uh, <laughs> we haven't started yet. I know, I'm announcing that I'm literally going to...
Oh, that was a well-placed joke, good sir. I attack the older gentleman who has an affinity for the younger demographic. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> the thing that I think makes this so great is I believe... You would not be able to have the jokes in here like this if I think Clone were not at least paid attention to some of the political drama that's gone on in the U.S. And he does such a good job at interlacing all of the messed up crap that these presidents have done and then puts it into these. I absolutely, oh my God, this is gold. This guy, he, I, I first saw him, he had 77,000. He's almost at 100,000 subscribers. This guy absolutely deserves just the the radical the radical success that he has this is this is fantastic to attack him in real life guys behave let's make it easy for ben he's been through enough okay sorry barbar i like your wheels benjo right so i'll introduce myself now i am obarman the wood elf archer i am proficient in long range combat sneak attacks and high in agility excellent now your turn joey i see you've got a new look indeed my divine goddess has told me many things many secrets and I have learnt the power of the dark arts. I'm now a warlock, proficient in arcane and high in strength. Strength? Not sure it works like that, but I'm trying to be a more flexible dungeon master, so it's good. Nice wheels, Ben. Stop. I'm really glad you're here, Ben. Shut up, Don. <laughs> oh, is that how it is, huh? I can't be fucking nice to Ben now. I can't say I'm glad to see him, that I'm happy he's here. Oh, what is this God. bullshit liberal censorship? It's okay, Don. I appreciate what you said. Shut up, wheels. I'm talking. <laughs> what is this bullshit liberals? Oh, I can't say that I'm happy to see Ben. Oh, God. Oh, these are, these are, guys, oh, man. I hope you guys are laughing along with this. I'm having such a great time. You guys better tell me, you guys better tell me in the comments down below what your favorite part of this, this episode is. And don't give me spoilers for the rest, because I might do more. This is, the, oh, my God. Talking here. You ever thought about wearing a diaper on your head? Why would I do that? To cover the shit that comes out your mouth. Yeah, good one. You're cute, Barack. Bitch, I'm adorable. <laughs> right. Okay, guys, let us Wait, begin. Wait, was that but a why? Team Four Star reference? Did he just throw a Team Four Star reference in there? Oh, <laughs> that's awesome! Oh my god, I'm gonna drop that in. I gotta edit that in. <laughs> oh, you think you're cute, don't you, Vegeta? Bitch, I'm adorable. Oh, 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 clone. I'm starting to really enjoy your stuff. Man, the guy likes Team Four Star and pays attention to politics. Are you my soulmate? Not in a creepy way. Not in like a creepy way, but like, you know, like in like the, the man bro online... I love you, clone. Call me Joey. The three friends Oberman, Joey, and Paladon arrive in the town of Kinsville, a diverse melting pot filled with races and people from all walks of life. Gross. But just like most places, it hides some dark secrets within. Oh, boy. Okay, so I need two more gold coins to upgrade my knives. I go further into town looking for jobs. I follow Obarman on his quest. I go the other way because I ain't no follower, bitch. Obarman and Joey advance <laughs> towards the busy town square and see the giant looming statue of a mighty warrior in the center. It is King Ragus, first of his name, a noble human with royal blood. It depicts his mighty struggle and triumph during the Goliath Wars. So cool. I like it. I look around the square with Joey for a job board. As your search continues, you sense someone's presence. A mysterious beggar has been watching your every step. He slowly limps towards you, covered in rags, concealing his face with a hood. Rags? Wait, you said beggar? A fucking hobo? You know how I feel about hobos. Aren't you somewhere else? I came back. Why? I got lonely. Greetings, adventurers, he says in a frail voice. You look like a group of worthy people capable of great things. Huh, he gets me. I have a job for you, <laughs> if you so wish. Aha, uh -huh, perfect. Pay me. Let's find out what it is first. You see, I do not have many belongings. However, I did have one precious ruby. It was my granddaughter's last gift to me. But a man and his goons stole it. I would be ever so grateful if you brought it back. Certainly, sir. It would be an honor to help you. Who stole it from you and where can we find it? Savan Pinkor, an eccentric flamboyant orc with ties to the criminal underworld. 
He owns this part of the town's gentlemen's club. Gentlemen's club, say no more. It would be my honor to find your diamond and get a lap dance. It is a ruby, <laughs> and it's in his office. He's currently away elsewhere, so this job shouldn't be much trouble for three tough heroes like you. Simply get inside, retrieve the ruby, and return it. What's in it for us, old man? I do not have much to offer, but I can pay you with some gold and information. Keep your gold. We'll get your ruby. I, Joey, solemnly swear to return the ruby to you, my friend. He lifts his head slightly and mutters a thank you before pointing to the club's location. The mysterious beggar no. then turns and walks away, oh, leaving God. you to begin your quest. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Never did I think that the joke of Trump, Obama, and Biden all walk into a strip club together would be more <laughs> realized than it is right now. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Oh, man. All right, guys, if you're checking out this video, you're going to do some work for me on this one. As with all the comments that I want you guys to do, because I love reading your guys' comments. It's my favorite thing to do. Trump, Obama, and Biden walk into a strip club, finish the joke, and try not to have YouTube nuke you. Like, keep the joke funny enough, but, like, also within the within the guidelines of YouTube, so that way you guys don't get your comments nuked, because I want to read them. Finish that joke. Oh, this is going to be great. Is this a friggin' strip club heist? My man, Ben, you've outdone yourself with this campaign. Bet you love the strip clubs, don't you, you horny dog? <laughs> the doctor said I'll never be able to use my dick again. <laughs> like it was ever being used to begin with. Come on, Don. <laughs> Not cool, Don. No, no, no. I mean, I love your dick, Benji. What the fuck, Paladon? Very cool, Paladon. <laughs> Thank you. That means a lot, actually. Okay, so we all go to Savan Pinkor's Gentleman's Club. The three adventurers dive deeper into the underbelly of the town, a place for the outcasts, the damned, and the sinners. You see the club, but its entrance is guarded by a large knight. All right, let's come up with a plan, boys. Hmm. What would Elon do? That reminds me. What happened to your previous dungeon master? Unfortunately, Elon got into a severe car crash and developed cancer. Truly an unlucky day for him. Snowflake. <laughs> Must be those electric Snowflake. cars just beaming with rain. <laughs> Creation. Totally. Uh, we approach the no giant. No bar men. I'm the leader here. We approach the giant knight who becomes intimidated by my broad shoulders and raw masculine energy. The giant knight does not react to the three adventurers coming towards him. Oh, hello, pardon me, my lord. My compatriots Joey the Warlock and Obarman the Dark Elf. Why are you come. calling me a Dark Elf? Oh, dear. Oh, lord. Oh, hamburgers. I rolled a bitch slap paladon. I rolled to take Ben's wheelchair. Oh, come on. Um, so the guard looks upon the disarray of your group and puts his hand towards his sheath's blade. Greetings, fine giant knight, sir. It is I, Joey, blessed by the divine Holy Mother Maiden herself, student of the dark holy arts. We'd like to enter your fine establishment. Why does, the, why, why does Biden have two different color eyes? I just, I just want to know. I just like, if, if for some reason clone jumps in on this, I would love for him to tell me why two different color eyes for Joe Biden. It's just an interesting choice there on the AI. Stoic guard takes his hand off the blade and stands there. I roll for a charisma check to persuade. A 14. Woohoo, snake eyes. No, you need two ones for that. Do you ever hear the universe screaming? The knight slowly gestures his arm towards the door, accepting your request to enter. Good job, Joey. I roll to see some hot wenches. What? I, I love that they left Donald Trump's hands small and mangled like that. Oh my God, that's so great. That whole small hands thing with Marco Rubio. Oh, that was, was it Rubio? I can't remember. It was one of them guys. Don't you wait until we're in the club. I want them now. Uh, okay. Paladin rolls for a wisdom check to search for hot wenches outside the club. Woohoo, snake eyes. No, you need... You got a four. You find no wenches. You have no bitches. And the night looms over you. Idiot. Let's get inside. You go upstairs and find yourself in Savan's club. Purple fire dimly lights the room. You can see and smell the debauchery as patrons are fulfilling their cardinal lust. Upon the stage, you see muscular, beefy, scantily clad male orcs dancing around on poles. Muscular orcs? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, no. Ah. Uh, okay, a gay orc bar. Oh, that's pretty unique. Do these orcs even have work permits? I'm lawful good, by the way. We're not doing that shit again, Paladon. We're not doing yes. They all have work permits and are all legal citizens. Apart from the sad state of orc trafficking these guys succumb to in the harsh underworld of the sex industry. Don't care about that. I roll to find some sexy ladies. It's a gay bar. You're a gay bar. 
An orc, chiseled to the brim with several abs, approaches oh, no. you. His white horns reflect the purple haze, and his eyes glow red with passion. Oh, no. He flexes his hairy chest and offers you a lap dance. Listen, I'm not gay, but goddamn, that's an alpha-looking masculine specimen right there, just <laughs> like me. Focus, Paladonald. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so one of us can take this lap dance and persuade the orc to tell us where the office is. Dibs not me. Dibs not, Dibs me. not me. Oh, fuck off. No <laughs> way in hell I'm doing it. Your time to shine, pal. Hell no. Oh, no. I thought you liked his chiseled body. Fuck you. Obarman should do it. He's used to doing this at home. How? Isn't Michelle a man? I attack. Holy fuck. <laughs> I knew where that was going. <sighs> Oh man! Oh. <laughs> I don't think I can comment. <laughs> Clone, you're a fucking genius, man. Holy shit. Paladon. What the fuck? I attacked Ben Shabibo. What the fuck? Who? Guys, please. I... My health. Let's focus. Okay, okay, fine. For Ben's sake. Come on, Paladonald. You have the highest charisma stat. No, 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 no. I don't want to show them my Paladong. I am loyal to Ivanka. You mean Melania? Who? There's no dong showing. Or even a lap dance. Just talking. Fuck's sake. I'll talk to him. My hero, my barbar -bar for real. I rolled to bribe <laughs> the hunky orc with gold to get Savan's office location. Say it. But it's... Oh, Jesus. Woohoo, snake eyes. Obama rolls a 16. The orc winks at you before taking your gold coin and placing it in his packed loincloth. <laughs> he motions his head to the giant, unmissable sign that says office. Great. However, two beefy, menacing, sexy orcs guard each side of the door. Oh boy, now what? It's my time to shine, boys. The Divine Holy Mother gave me a vision about this earlier. It's a guaranteed success. I will cast a fire spell in secret, burning this curtain, forcing everyone to evacuate. And then we sneak in and out. Genius plan, Joey. It was my plan. Doing sneaky magic in a crowded place will be hard to achieve. Therefore, you roll with a disadvantage. Two dice, and the lowest decides your outcome. I roll to cast fire. You just got two ones. You're not gonna say it? Say what? Snake eyes! You got fucking snake eyes! What's <laughs> that? I, uh, I'm not sure this is good for my health. Who? Uh, right. Uh, so Joey unfortunately <laughs> rolls a critical ultra failure. His magic explodes into his face and he slips on the curtain, falls back, and smashes through a window. The patrons and orcs and sultry onlookers gasp and turn towards the noise. The office guards leave their post and come to check the commotion. Perfect. Great job, Joey. As they are distracted, Paladonald and I sneak past everyone and enter the office. You get into Savan's office, filled to the brim with purple velvet. Even a blacklight wouldn't be enough to find all the stains in here. <laughs> The shit that I never thought I would hear Ben Shapiro's voice say. <laughs> you see the ruby in a glass case in front of you. Hell yeah, I'll be taking that. No, you will not. I know you're not going to give it back to the old man. Oh, barman, you know me so well, buddy. Oberman swipes the ruby and conceals it. The duo walk out and see a crowd has gathered around the window, still... Did he call him Oberman? Distracted. I can hear the planet crying, Ben. You go outside and see Joey, who has been propped up by the giant knight. The knight begins to gently pat Joey's head. Thank you, giant kind sir. We should probably get out of here before they figure out what happened. Good idea. Let's go. The sneaky trio head out of the seedy part of town and... I'm so sorry, guys. It appears I am late for my physiotherapy. Oh, no. There might be a chance I can get feeling in my legs again. Oh, that's great, Ben. I must leave. But we can save this campaign for now and continue it next time. Sounds good, buddy. Great seeing you again. Take care, Benny, babe. There's the door, my friend. guy yeah maybe i was wrong about him he's a cute rat i can't wait to continue this story oh yeah we didn't give the ruby back to the hobo it's okay we'll do it later on this week no i'm gonna do it now you can't play with ben gone he's worked hard on this campaign we'll continue next time he's here don't care cry more i will roll nothing you do right now will be canon in the dungeons and dragons president metaverse <laughs> when we continue the story president. next time seethe mauled piss more jesus i roll to behead the hobo for fuck's sake
A 20, critical success. I behead the hobo twice. You got a four. Whatever. I rolled to stab his dead body. I thought you were going to stop this and be lawful good. Renegade for life. <laughs> well, this was another great session with the lads. It really was. It's always fun with you guys around. Hey, <laughs> hey. And now we get to go back to Barack's for some good food. Yeah, Michelle's cooking her famous ravioli. Oh, jolly gee, that's my favorite. I can't wait. Me too, boys. Me too. Let's go. Oh, man. I, I, I genuinely don't know what to say. <clears throat> the, 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 pol oh, man, this guy's, this guy's definitely tapped into politics for sure. Uh, his ability to, uh, to put in some of the, uh, uh, worst conspiracy theories, uh, from the right and the left, some of the worst atrocities from the viewpoint of the right and the left and just some of the overall insanity of politics into the Dungeons and Dragons world while having these guys just being foul mouth shit talking best friends is just unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It, it is to to take that the the guy I would imagine I would imagine has it almost seems like he has attempted maybe like doing like stand-up comedy or something like that because the way that he delivers, the way that he thinks comes across as a stand-up comic. And I am absolutely loving these. These are so unbelievably fantastic. Um I will be I'll be doing more of these because I just I just have too damn I just have too damn much fun with these and I love it. And I hope that you guys are enjoying my reactions to them. Uh, again, the political notes, you know, obviously, you know, Donald Trump dropping more bombs uh, than Obama, you know, Israel's OK, too. The those jokes, uh, the older guy with the affinity for the young girls, you know, the Michelle Obama being a dude joke, like all of that stuff, everything in there, the way that it's delivered is just just mm, chef's kiss, man. Chef's kiss. It's fucking gold. Ah. This guy deserves every bit of success that he is getting, and the comedy is fantastic. I will do my best to keep these going. Um, but like I said in the beginning of the video, I am working on doing a longer form uh, video, video essay style video that I'm really going to have fun with. And so I hope you guys enjoy that. Stick around to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. If you liked my reaction, please like this video. Get, this, get these likes up on the video because it would be really wonderful uh, to see 200 likes on this. It's a tiny channel, guys. That's all I can do. But more importantly, comment down below because I dedicate a special live stream to everybody who comments on my channel every Sunday. It's called Sunday Coffee. It's at 11 a.m. Central. And that's where I go. I read all of your comments, react to them live, and then chat with you guys in the chat while I react to your comments. So thank you all so much for being here on A Drink With Crazy. And until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well. So click that link while you're down there. See you next time.